This is how it looks in its super, super extended mode. That's my own definition for it. This is after it goes into extended mode. Then you put it into super extended mode. Then this is after super extended mode, which I'm assuming it can only get there by itself. I jacked it up with a jack and then I took the jack from underneath the LR and this is where it stayed. That's crazy high. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take a Land Rover, an LR3, and you can go into extended mode and super extended mode. This also works on the LR4, Range Rover Sport, and Range Rover, or like some people like to call them, the Disco 3 and Disco 4. All right, let's get started. The Land Rover is in off-road height, so I'm gonna get some measurements before and then after. I'm gonna measure in two locations, one right under the running board, and then the second one is over the wheel wheel. Right here, it's 14 inches. Okay, and in the center of the tire, it's 34 and 3 fourths of an inch. I have two wooden blocks. The first one is nine and a half inches. The second is 11 and a half. What you wanna do, you wanna take one of these blocks of wood and you sit it under the Land Rover, right under the frame in the center, and then you lower the Land Rover, it hits the block, and then it goes into extended mode. You simply take your block, whichever side you decide to go with, and you slide the block under the center frame of the Land Rover. You just wanna make sure that you can slide it under, then I'm going to get in, start it up, lower it down to where it hits this block, and then you'll see it hit it, and then it'll bounce up and go into extended mode. As you see, I'm in off-road height, and it just says right here that it's in off-road height. I'm about to lower the vehicle and hit the block of wood. As I lower it, it just hit the block. It made a ding, and now it says suspension is in extended mode. So as I'm going up, the vehicle is raising right now. So it just raised to extended mode. And you can tell it's in extended mode because the height adjuster is blinking right now. So now to go into super extended mode, you put your foot on the brake and you hold this for five seconds, five to 10 seconds and you'll hear a ding. You just heard a ding and I raised some more. As you see, the vehicle did raise itself above the block of wood. So let's take our measurements and see just how much clearance we gained. I'm going to measure again, now that we're in super extended mode. It's at 15 and a half inches. And above the wheel well, it's at 35 and three fourths of an inch. Super extended mode. As you can see, let me back it up. As you can see, it's pretty high looking. I already gave you the measurements, so you know what that looks like. Look how high it is. Once you're in extended mode, you can drive and stay at that height for a very long time. It's just like any, uh, it's just like when you're in off-road mode and as long as you don't exceed, I believe it's 30 miles an hour, you can stay at that selected height. Extended road, extended mode is the same. Right here, you're looking at super, super extended mode. Wow, that's high. Okay, now that it is in super, super extended mode, I put the same block of wood back down. And look, man, that's crazy how much taller it got. <laughs> look at that. That is crazy. I'm about to re-measure it so we can have some new numbers to go off of. Measuring at the same spot to the bottom of the running board, 17, 17 and a half inches. Wow. The same wheel well I've done the other measurements at, 37 and a half. That's crazy how much higher it went. Wow.
right here is a bag that I keep in the back of the LR and I just put the block of wood in the bag just in case I want to go into extended mode at any given time it's that simple okay as you see it's just that easy to go into extended mode and then into super extended mode now you guys go out go and try it go off-roading and now go places that you couldn't go as easy as you're going to be able to go now as usual i appreciate your time thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to hit me up you guys have a good one